Manchester City taught Arsenal a lesson at the Emirates on Sunday. The rest of the Premier League can learn from the Gunners' mistakes in their 2-0 defeat. You cannot be meek against City. An Emery's side were timid. They allowed Pep Guardiola to set the agenda and control the rhythm of the game. He dreams about teams attempting to play the ball out from the back against the champions. City press relentlessly in the opposition's final third. They pounce on any imprecise passing. Giving the ball away in dangerous areas has been an Arsenal trademark for more than a decade, which makes Emery's tactics bewildering. The way to challenge City is to force them backwards at pace. Their weaknesses are in the rear guard. The former Barcelona coach loves to utilize a high defensive line and the back four leave lots of running room for rivals who get the ball upfield quickly. Arsenal's approach was pedestrian. The ease with which the Gunners were swept aside shows how much work Emery needs to do to get this team back in contention for the top four. Sunday's performance generated a cruel thought that the Spaniard might be North London's David Moyes. Defeat by Chelsea at Stamford Bridge on Saturday would plunge Arsenal fans into deep misery. So who can stop City? It would be foolish to write off the season after the opening weekend but Guardiola's squad are powerful and battle-hardened. Jurgen Klopp has built his Liverpool team to exploit the weaknesses of the title holders. Perhaps Emery should have taken a lead from City's three defeats by Klopp's side last season. The 4-0 defeat of West Ham boosted confidence at Anfield, a place where optimism has likely already exceeded reality. Early indications are that Klopp had a good transfer window and the arrival of Naby Keita gives his midfield an injection of dynamism but excitement has to be tempered by West Ham's poor performance. What we learned from Arsenal vs City Tottenham are the other team with the potential to unnerve City. Failure to freshen up the squad during the transfer window has been a source of frustration for Mauricio Pochettino. Yet his first 11 have the ability to run City close. City are the best team but they are far from invincible. Hopefully the rest will look at Sunday's game and draw some worthwhile conclusions.